Emerald Scene making this perfect timing for his Dana White's Contender Series debut against unbeaten Nazardin Nazardinov. O contrato do UFC significa para mim a conclusão da missão. E hoje eu vou mostrar que eu tô pronto para pagar esse contrato, chegar lá, quebrar a banca de todo mundo e seguir nossa caminhada em busca do título mundial, que é o mais sonhado. Meu nome é Jair Tomalhadinho, sou natural de Salvador, tenho 30 anos, sou da equipe Capão da Luta LG System. Eu nasci no bairro de Brotas, o bairro no centro de Salvador. A minha infância foi uma infância muito... Na verdade, eu curti a infância, né? Eu era um cara muito brigador, né? Eu gostava de brigar na rua. Queria ser jogador de futebol, como todos os, todos os meninos queriam ser. Mas, infelizmente, acabei me ganhando para MMA, né? E aí, tô aí hoje. Meu irmão era também lutador, né? Começou a fazer jiu-jitsu para poder lutar MMA. Só que ele acabou seguindo o caminho ruim. Eu pedi meu irmão pro mundo das drogas. E meu irmão tá desaparecido desde 2012. A gente até hoje não sabe, não, dá, não tem notícias. Ah, eu sinto a falta dele, né? Eu queria ele aqui do meu lado. Pra gente seguir junto a, nossa, a minha trajetória, né? Eu fico muito triste, né? de falar isso, mas é a realidade da vida, e tem que seguir caminhada. E eu tenho certeza que quando eu ganhar o contrato lá no Contender, eu vou lembrar muito dele e vou falar o nome dele lá em cima. Meu oponente é o Nasudin, ele vem de nove vitórias. É um cara que o jogo é quase igual ao meu, só que eu vejo muita brecha nele. Então a gente vai buscar essas brechas aí pra poder tentar jogar um pouco da pimenta e do Dendê lá da Bahia. Eu tenho 15 lutas, 13 vitórias e 2 derrotas. Meu estilo de luta é, eu sou um cara trocador também e meu jogo é estilo de Khabib. Coloco pra baixo, faço aquela força, ou finalizo no grande pau ou na finalização. Eu trago a energia, eu sou um cara muito centrado, muito focado. Eu sou tipo snipe, eu chegar, apontar e atirar no certeiro. Eu pretendo amassar ele todo e dar um bocado de murro na cabeça, porque vai murro na cabeça e amassa no chão. Меня зовут Насрудин, у нас Рудин, мне 29 лет, и я представляю клуб Крепости и Universal Fighters. У меня абсолютно смешанный стиль ведения боя. Я дерусь и в стойке, и в борьбе. Я могу бороться, делать болевые, заканчивать бои добиванием, но больше предпочитаю драться в стойке, и поэтому последнее время уделял много этому времени, именно развитию своих ударных техник. Но к этому бою я понимал, что мне нужно готовиться к грэпплеру, поэтому также большой акцент сделали на грэпплинг, поэтому я всесторонне готов к этому бою. Ну, когда я начинал только этим заниматься, Джон Джонс был на вершине в то время, и поэтому я смотрел на него и как бы вдохновлялся его боями, но не, не было такого, что прям он какой-то мой кумир, потому что когда ты... Делаешь человека своим кумиром, это автоматически означает, что ты не можешь преодолеть э, те достижения, которые, да, которых, которых он достиг. А я считаю, что я могу достичь большего. Э, но потом со временем также появился Хабиб Нурмагомедов, который также вдохновлял меня э, и вдохновляет и по сей день, в принципе. Мой сын родился 1 сентября. И... Как он родился, конечно же, я почувствовал огромную ответственность. И сейчас, когда я нахожусь здесь, я его еще не видел. И у меня есть определенная тоска по нему. Но мне вдвойне хочется победить в этом бою и приехать уже с победой. Поэтому для меня это многое значит именно победить в этом бою. Но это никак не будет на меня влиять, потому что я выхожу с абсолютно холодной головой. Я никогда не переживаю и не волнуюсь, и ничто на меня не давит, никакие... Ну, любые обстоятельства никак не тревожат меня. Я просто выйду на бой и буду делать то, что я умею делать лучше всего. Я сделаю все для того, чтобы победить его, победить красиво и досрочно. Потому что это то, к чему я шел всю свою жизнь. И сегодня я сделаю это. Nazardine, Nazardine off, trying to become the latest, the next UFC fighter from Dagestan, 29 years old, has not lost yet. A perfect 9-0 record coming into this one. He's been competing in ACA, which is the top promotion in Russia. Yeah, it seems almost cliche to say that he fights like Habib, but I mean, that is exactly how he fights. He uses his striking mostly as a means to an end. He's trying to close the distance, find the hips of his opponent, and get the fight to the canvas. And then once he does, it's wash, rinse, 
and repeat. I mean, he dominates, he smothers, he wrist wraps like we saw a little bit in, in some fights earlier, and he lands ground and pound. And typically when he starts landing the ground and pound, his opponents give up the submission. It's almost, I don't want to say it's a foregone conclusion, but it's very easy to see sort of the plot of his fights unfold, Michael. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's obvious. I mean, that's the way it is. And the, and the funny thing is, his opponent says that he's the one with the Khabib style, which is just ludicrous. But yeah, you're right. It seems all these people from that part of the world, they come out here, they have a similar style, but why is that? Because they're good at it and it works. Obviously, all very massively inspired by Khabib Nurmagomedov. Gets the takedown and looks to pound them out. The man's vicious in there. Went to college, left for the army, started training in MMA at 20, and now here at 29. Shayuton Almeida, 30 years old, coming in with a 13 and 2 record. The underdog in this one, despite having more pro experience and wins over two former UFC veterans, Michael. Yeah, that's right. Ednaldo Oliveira and Ildemir Alicantra. Said he could have been a professional boxer back in the day, and if you look at him, clearly a physical specimen. Says uh, his box is very, very good. He's also a black belt at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and he's been doing a lot of Jiu-Jitsu tournaments leading up to this one, which, as we just said, considering his opponent's style, is going to come in very, very handy. But he's got a big frame, good size for this, 205, six foot three, good reach as well. Yeah, should be a good fight, this Laura. It really, and I took the time to go through, and because I was curious if Nasruddin Nasruddinov had, had faced someone built like that before. And it's been a very, very long time. Nasruddin is often fighting guys that are also roughly six feet tall, built like him, and often have kind of a similar skill set or they're strikers, and he's able to close the distance easily and take them down. He has yet to face a true jujitsu specialist like Jelton Almeida, and I think that this could be very interesting because I do believe it's going to hit the canvas. It's does Almeida have the weapons when it does go there? Or somebody that sings as he's walking into the octagon. Was that Giles in singing there? That was nice. It was lovely, whoever it was. <laughs> Shooting. I think it is him. <laughs> you talked about his boxing skills, his dad, a former pro fighter, and now a boxing coach. All right, let's take a look now at the tail of the tape. Now, Zardinov, one year younger, but giving up almost three inches to the taller Almeida and seven and a half inches of reach. Our referee for our featured bout of the evening, Jason Herzog. First round, ready? Pronto. Fight! Almeida in the red trunks. Nasruddin, Nasruddinov in the blue. Oh, Look at wow! This. Is, that's great. Quick what shot. Fantastic shot, yeah, but more importantly, the element of surprise. But still, you want to be careful when you clinch a Sambo master because look at that. Even though Jalton was in the, you know, the controlling position, boom, nice little wizard kick, kind of gets in control. Yeah, I like the thought. I like the mental game of, no, no, I'm going to come out here and shoot on you. And it was a beautiful shot, but as you say, Sambo incorporates so much of that judo, and he, I mean, he saw it right there. He's like, no, 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 brother, brother, this is not, this <laughs> no, is no, not don't Khabib do this. style. <laughs> this is Khabib style. Almeida has the, he's so long, he actually has the left arm of Nasruddinov controlled yeah. here, so they're very much in a stalemate right now. I mean, and, and if it wasn't for the fence, Jalti could almost roll yes. him left, roll him to his and back sweep. and actually get on top. Yeah. But as we see, the fence is there. Sometimes your best friend or your worst enemy. If he can hang on, this might result in a stalemate stand-up, though. But he's a, wow, nice. able to get back up. Very good. Yeah, really good work. And he, listen, he is not trying to disengage. He's trying to get the takedown. You've got to respect that. He said, nah, I ain't intim intimidated by this. I'm going to take you down, buddy. And he's a much taller fighter, so easier to elevate your opponent against the cage in these positions. Get those leg reaps. Nice little foot stomp. Got to watch that. And for Almeida, his last oh, four fights, nice. well, a big slam. Hey, this is huge for him. And he's on top now, he's kind of got the back. Just needs to get the hands free and do some damage. I mean, if he gets that right hand free now, bang, 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 all day to the head. Because look, he's right there. 
was saying that Almeida's last four fights have all been grappling bouts. Oh, he's been working. Oh, my goodness. He's under the neck. He's got a hook in. He's got to get that second hook in. Got to get full control. Almost had it. Eight submission wins for Almeida in his professional career. As Nasruddin looks to turn, Almeida needs to continue to follow the back in order to keep this position and look to get that other hook in. That's going to really secure the back right here. I think his frame is really giving him problems, Michael. I mean, he's just such, just such a bigger fighter than Nasruddinov is. Yeah, but he messed up there. He, he was did. kind of off balance and just kind of accepted the position, just kind of rolled to his back. And it's not where you want to be. Not right now. Not with Nasruddin on top of you. Oh, look at that. Isolating arm with the shin. Under two minutes to go here in the first round of our featured bout. Elevates him well with the ball fly hook. Now it's time for Nazaruddin off to try and get some shots off. Those long legs of Jauter Amida be problematic for him. I think he's waiting to throw a nice up kick. Oh, he's looking to cost a, he's looking to get a single leg here. Is Almeida or come out the back? Yeah, I think he made a mistake there. He was trying to go for something slick, trying to attack the leg. We see him there. Still trying though. Still trying to do that. Hey, he believes in his submission attacks though. The knee is not in trouble here. It's passed and it's out. Nicely defended. Look at that. I mean, that says that Nazaruddinov wasn't yes. overly, you know, happy not with excited. those exchanges. He's like, okay, get up. You're far too annoying down there, going for my legs and my limbs. How dare you? Oh, oh heavy low kick. Oh, my goodness. Tell you, Jaiten's looking good. Oh, beautiful outside trip from Almeida as well. I am so impressed with his wrestling, Michael. Taking the fight to this guy, beating him his own style so far, and putting it on Nazruddinov in a big way. Aurelia, no, no, no. Again, in case you were wondering, coming into the fight, Almeida plus 175, Nazardinov minus 210. Look at that. And back again, down on the double. Oh, wow. This gets another one. That's great work. And look at the look of disbelief on yes. Nazardinov. He's like, Hold I can't on. believe this is happening to me right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is not supposed to be happening. Okay, breathe. Breathe. You sure? One more time. You need to move. Okay, hold the eyes. Pause of water. So here's Almeida, shoots in, double leg, surprises Nazaruddinov. And then there was a lot of wrestling back and forth, but for the most part, nice hip toss there, a wizard kick by Nazaruddinov. And then Almeida gets on the feet and then boom, slams him down. Really impressive stuff by Almeida. Counters with the right hand, that connected, almost put Almeida down because he was off balance. And the round ended with Nazaruddinov looking very surprised. Thank you. Okay, please. Sit back. Back, back, back. All the way back. Thank you. Ready? Pronto. Straight. Almeida is put together, though. My goodness. Huh. You, know, you know, if I take my shirt off, that's exactly what I look like. <laughs> it's funny. I've seen you fight with your shirt off before. I don't remember that. <laughs> Oh, oh, flying knees. But straight into a body lock and straight back down to the mat. And again, a, a really good advantageous position for Almeida. Almost identical to round one. Third takedown of the fight for Almeida. 
Pronto, segura. Vamos lá, calma, calma que você faz força aí. Ele, ele vai levantar, ele vai cair de novo. He's going to try and get the second hook in. It's a little... The angle isn't right there. He's going to try and get right over. He's trying to do it. There it is. Nice work. Going to stick those toes in there, not the heel. Try and get the hook all the way in, then flatten him out. Nasserdine blocking that hook, though, almost to the point where he could potentially spin. But the way that Almeida has Nasserdine's shoulders controlled, it's keeping him from being able to spin either way back into him and be on top. No, Almeida was actually supposed to have already made his UFC debut, but had visa issues. So he has been on the cusp for quite some time now. Got that hook in, did Almeida. That's big. Yeah, he's going to flatten him out now. If he's going to flatten him out, this could be the end. He's trying to get the choke. He's, look at this. Looks like he has Guys, that's look in. at this. That's in. And what a squeeze he'll have. Switch palm to palm. Yeah, that's it. Unbelievable. Jayutone Almeida with his 14th professional win has been on the cusp of the UFC for quite some time, and you can see the emotion pouring out into the octagon. I mean, listen, I'll say it again. Coming into this, he said, my style is Khabib style, and I thought, you're crazy, you're crazy, but that's exactly what he did. He beat Nazaruddinov at his own game. He went forward, he took the fight to him, he out-hustled him in the clinches, he dominated on the ground, and then when the time was there to take the finish, he took the neck home as well. Here it is, Nazudinov jumps in, flying knee. I respect that, he's trying, gets the clinch, gets the body lock, puts him down, goes to work. Took a while to get the second hook in, but then when he did, flattened him out, took the choke. And you can see from the, you know, the build on this man, the strength that he must have. And then there it is, gets on him, gets palm to palm, and he's squeezing with everything. And Nazudinov undefeated, came in at 9-0. Big reputation, came in as the favorite but goes home the loser. Well done, Jalton Almeida. So Almeida, the plus 175 dog in this one. Look forward to getting Yanni the Greek's take here in just a moment. Let's send it in to Justin Bernard to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute, 49 seconds into round number two, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the fight for your winner by submission due to rear naked choke, Jayuton Almeida. Bahia é mu na cabeça, é massa no chão. Os alô brotas, tô chegando aquele jeitão. Salvador, tô chegando, vou. Oh, Jai Uton Almeida, Yanni, a uh, lot, of, lot of happy winners here if you took the underdog in the featured bout. Dogs continue to cash at a high clip on Dana White's Contender Series. In fact, dog betters just hit the trifecta of plus money. Almeida as an underdog, like you said, plus money. Almeida to win inside the distance, about a plus 300 underdog and even the under one and a half at about plus 140, 50 also gets the money. So a lot of happy underdog betters in tonight's big <laughs> wow. Sorry, Yanni, I don't think he can that, see what's happening. He's dancing for those betters out hey. there right now. They're all dancing with him. And he has got the moves, that's for sure. What a performance by the Brazilian. I don't know what was better, the submission or the dance moves. I mean, come on. Coming from somebody who can't dance, I'm very, I'm very jealous yeah, of those yeah, moves no, right now. Me and you both, buddy. I mean, that was beautiful. It really was. That's how you fight somebody with that style. You take the fight to them. Sanko, take it away. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Jelton. <laughs> Singing on the way in, dancing the whole way out. How are you feeling? Cara, chegou, é, chegou can cantando, saiu dançando. Como é que está se sentindo? É, vim agradecer aqui a oportunidade da não acha aqui que ele me deu, né? É, eu tava vindo essa coisa de vitórias boas, de acho que foi oito, oito vitórias, eu acho, foi nove. E apareceu o Santos no UFC para poder estrear diretamente. Só que por conta do visto. Eu acabei não estreando. Aí meu empresário da pateira 
É, chegou pra mim, véi, falei com o Mickey lá, a galera do UFC, e só tem contenda. Eu falei, rapaz, bota aí. Aí falaram assim, ah, é contra um russo. Aí eu falei, o que daí? A gente também é russo, na Beto também tem russo, aqui um aqui, ó. Então, agradecer a toda a organização do, do Container Series pela oportunidade. E quem sabe alguém se contrata aí agora, né? Vamos buscar. Uh, very happy to be here, Container Series. Uh, I had some visa problems to come here. Um, I had about eight, nine wins that I can't remember. Um, but basically, after I got the visa, they said, well, Container Series is what it is. We're going to fight the Russian. It's not a problem, so. <laughs> well, fight a Russian you did, and you beat him at his own game. From the very opening bell, you shot on him. How confident were you coming into this fight that you would be able to beat him at what was his own game? Você ganhou dele fazendo o jogo dele. Você ganhou dele fazendo aquilo que ele faz melhor. Quanto que você estava confiante que você ia conseguir lutar do jeito que era necessário? Você lutou, você ganhou dele do jeito dele. É, eu só venho aqui agradecer a minha mestre Leandro Godin, né? Minha equipe é existem. Ele é que é o, o general lá da, lá da equipe. Então, o jiu-jitsu vem dele. Desde meus 11 anos de idade, eu faço jiu-jitsu. Né? Eu, até, eu até falei na entrevista lá. Então, meu treino do Galpão. O Galpão da Luta é a, a equipe lá da gente que a gente faz o treino de MMA específico. A gente usa muito a parte do grappling. Meu treinador olha muito, muito, muito o treino de russo. O treino, do, treino de Khabib, que ele é muito fã de Khabib. Meu treinador Yuri Mori e Eric Marinho. Muito fã de Khabib. Então, meu, eu falei, a gente falou, rapaz... Eles falaram assim comigo, rapaz, você é russo. Ele também é russo, então vamos ver quem, vamos ver que tem o jogo mais justo. Só que eu treino com bicho, né? Tem que falar que a gente treina com bicho, porque a gente chama, a gente chama um galpão lá, galpão da selva. É, só tem bicho, só tem, só tem criatura feroz. E quando eu falar assim, só tem uma banana na selva, os macacos ficam fica na, 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 na bruxa, lá na guerra, pra tentar ganhar. Então, agradeci aqui a meu treinador, Leandro das Godinhas, né? O meu sensei, a Eric Marinho, a Yuri Moura, a Mina Taurinho. Ah, para, eu, eu esqueci o nome das pessoas aqui, mas minha galera do Copão da Luta, LG System, a gente mostrou que nosso jiu-jitsu está afiado, viu? Então, Brasil é jiu-jitsu neles. E, a, e outra coisa, eu sou o novo Khabib da 93, viu? Quem for 93 aí, corra, que eu tô chegando. Eu sou o novo Khabib da divisão. Eu estou lutando jiu-jitsu desde que eu era 11 anos. And we trained grappling a lot back where I lived with LG Systems and also um, my master. And they know that I, we, we prepare for these and we fight like Khabib that I love a lot. And they call me the Russian down there. And we fight with animals. Um, we fight out of the hangar that we call the jungle. And we say, man, when there's a banana in there, we're gonna go get it because everybody's gonna come for it and it's gonna come and get their money. Um, I was very confident about this, that I was going to be able to do this because of my masters and because we've been training for this and to beat them in their own game. We feel like we're Russians. We can do it. It was an extremely impressive performance. Michael Bisping and I were blown away. I have a feeling I'm going to be talking to you again, sir. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your amazing performance. A performance was ótima. Ela e o, e o Bisping estavam adorando a tua performance lá. Eu gostaria de parabenizar você porque foi uma ótima luta do começo ao fim. Muito obrigado, eu quero agradecer a vocês, a, a, a Bispo seguindo lá, é, e dizer para ele que viu, viu o, a história dele, né? assisti também a história dele, ele é um cara muito exemplar, e esse, essa, essa performance era para ser, não, era para ser no UFC, ele pagar o bônus, né? Uh, thank, thank you, and thank you to Bispo as well, I've watched a lot of him, and he, I think he's an exemplary guy, and, uh, well, this performance should be in the UFC, so why not? I think so too, congratulations, enjoy your win, guys, we'll send it back up to you. Well, now, now he, he's, he's like a smart guy. His hands, right? <laughs> Exemplary. You know what I mean? Come on, Dan. Well, how about the seventh win via rear naked choke in his professional career? Hey, listen, I mean, that was a sensational performance. I am blown away by it. And to be honest, he is 100% UFC ready. And I'm telling you, from what I saw there, he is a real problem to deal with. Dana White's Contender Series is presented by ZipRecruiter. Go to ZipRecruiter.com and put